Hi, this is Mark Richards with Influent Consulting, and today I'm going to show you how to add a new database connection into your uh, Informatica Power Center Express project. Um, we're going to use this to uh, as a destination where we're going to load the information that we've pulled in from this CSV salaries table. All right. So at the top of your screen here, you've got a, a row of icons. This one right here is a create connection icon. So let's select that. Then I want to create a new connection for a new database. So click next, and I'm going to call this uh, demo DB. And for the location, I'm going to select my domain. And the type is going to be Microsoft SQL Server. So click Next. And this is my connection screen. So I'm going to put in my username and password for this database. On my connection string here, I'm going to replace host name. In this case, it's localhost. And I'm going to replace my database name. I'm going to use a database called demo underscore staging. And down here on my connection string, Again, I'm going to do localhost at demo underscore staging. My owner name is DBO. My schema name is DBO. And I'm going to test that connection. And my connection is successful. Click OK. Finish. Do I want to add the connection to the Connection Explorer? Well, yes, I do. So click OK. And so that connection to that database has now been set up. But within my project, I need to add um, a physical data object here for the actual table that I want to load this data to. So again for my project I'm going to right click and I'm going to select new data object and this time I'm going to select a relational data object and click next. My connection is the one I just set up, the demo DB. My resource and I'm going to uncheck here the default schema. My resource is going to be under DBO and the tables is going to be this table here called stage salaries. So I'm going to click OK and then finish. And we can see here that under physical data objects, I now have a definition for stage salaries. And this is what the table looks like. So in our next demo, we're going to use the CSV salaries and the stage in salaries table that we just created uh, to create a mapping to move the data from a flat file into a database. Thank you.